What's going on ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of the R31. So we are finally going to be making a little bit more progress on this thing. Uh, it's been out a little while, I've been waiting for parts. It was a bit of a saga, um, another issue with the toll companies pretty much. But we finally have some parts and today we're actually doing some painting of the 383, which you probably have already watched maybe. Uh, and while we're doing some painting, I figured we would paint the engine bay of the 31, because that's what we need to progress uh, from further than that. And I figured while we're painting, we'll do the Sylvia as well, uh, the engine bay for the Sylvia. But uh, I'll do that in another video, so we'll do another episode separate for the Sylvia. Anyway, as far as the R31 goes, we've got some new parts, which I want to show off to you guys. Super, super, super exciting. So we'll go through what we've got here. All right, so here we have from RB Factory. We have his modified R31 caster brackets for S13 caster arms. We also have his uh, curved caster arms. We've got his custom plated lower control arms, which are actually R33 length plus 50 mil. So these are super, super wide. We've also got his modified knuckles and his camber tops to account for the extra width of the uh, lower control arm. So these allow us to correct the camber. Otherwise, without them, you'd have way too much camber and you'd never be able to get it out because the lower control arms are so wide. So with this front end setup, we're looking at a super, super aggressive, aggressive car. It should have heaps and heaps of lock and I'm super excited about it. So sorry the place is such a mess at the moment, guys, and it's probably pretty hard to hear me, but we just got so much stuff going on at the moment. But as well as that, he's also uh, supplied to me, this is uh, extended brake lines for the, uh, for the four pot brakes, my Z32 brakes, which I need for the extra width of the control arms as well, uh, as well as my hydro handbrake line kit. Uh, so I'm going inline hydro with this setup, as a lot of you already know. So just an inline hydro setup there. Uh, he also supplied, he made us some cross member spacers, which is what we require to fit the LS the way we want to fit it, and hopefully just be able to fit it with a stock starter and uh, the rest of that. Um, and then just a handbrake mount there as well, so. So I'll come out here so you can hopefully hear me a bit better, but yeah, awesome haul of parts from RB Factory. Massive, massive thank you to RB Factory for supporting this build. Uh, without them, this build wouldn't be possible and the trickle-on effect of actually him allowing me to have these parts for this build means that we got to build the S13 out of the parts that I had earmarked. So uh, in a roundabout way he actually also <laughs> is the reason the S13 gets to be built as well. So huge thanks to RB Factory. If you need anything from RB Factory use my code LEPLABS at the checkout for a 10% discount. Uh, and yeah, you can go there for all of your S and R chassis and R31 needs. He makes so many good parts for a really good price. So the other afternoon, I spent a bit of time just trying to finish sort of sanding the uh, the R31 and prepping it as best I can. Uh, again, we're painting these with equipment enamel, so this this stuff should stick to anything. The reason we're doing this is because it requires minimal prep. Uh, so it's really easy to paint. Um, it sticks to everything. You don't have to prep it very much. It's super easy to work with. Uh, that's why we decided to do the drift cars in it because we figured we're probably going to be doing repairs and stuff like a lot. Um, it's really tough as well. It's tough paint. So uh, perfect for a drift car, we, we believe. So I've still got to fix a few things in the roof. I'm going to actually grind these out and bog it up, um, all these rough spots in the roof. So a bit more prep to do to the actual car before it gets painted. But I've given the engine bay a quick sand and it's pretty much ready to get painted. So I figured while we're painting today, we'll just blast this. Uh, and that way, once this is painted, I can work on getting my new cross member spaces in. Uh, and then we can look at actually fitting the engine and getting our pipes made and all the rest of it. So this is the next thing on the list is to paint the bay. After that, we can start continuing to progress forward and get the front end of this car and everything else that comes with that. So we'll push it over there and uh, we'll lay some paint down. So as well as those parts from RB Factory, we also now have our materials that we need to build the pipes for the, for the 31. So at this stage, apart from little things like tie rod ends and rack ends, uh, which I have to measure up onto the front ends in the car to see what length I need, and a tail shaft and a few other little things like that, the 31 is at a point where it, there's no reason it can't progress to the point where we're, we're sort of ready to go. I've also got a new alloy radiator there. I think I explained that in the last episode though. Uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of stuff here to actually get this thing underway. So it's pretty exciting to start finally start making some more progress on it again. So I just took all that trimming off for paint. <laughs> Look how filthy it is. Anyway, as these guys can obviously probably see, and as I would like to stress, is that this is not going to be another repeat of the white R31. These are skid cars. These are drift cars. We are not going over the top. That's why we're not going crazy with prep. That's why we're painting in equipment enamel. The idea is to be simple and quick and get it done. Uh, so that is, yeah. Don't get in the comments whinging about using equipment enamel because they're just drift cars. All right, we are getting good and washed down and ready to go. Masking up the windscreen. Get some black happening. So if it feels like you got deja vu guys, um, I decided I'm just gonna start using clips for both videos. I was gonna put them both in the same video, but it sort of messes up with the way I'm doing the build series. They sort of both need to have their own 
episode, but they get paint. So, um, yeah, if you feel like deja vu, it's probably because you've seen it in the last video. <laughs> Just gonna start using clips twice. So anyway, I'll try and keep it short and sweet. So as you can imagine, guys, big wide RB factory front end, plus big wide ST Customs fiberglass front guards. I really think this R31 should hopefully be a pretty standout car. Should be quite unique, very different to most other 31s around. So without, yeah, I'm so excited to get this thing together and see how it looks. So this thing's come up a treat, it's looking really good. Super excited now to uh, keep making some progress on, this, progress on this thing. I'm pretty keen to get the freaking engine in this engine bay and see what it looks like. I reckon it's gonna look so sick. Anyway guys, that's all we're gonna be doing at this with us at the moment. We've got too much customer stuff to, to go on with at the moment to spend any more time on this thing at the right now. I just thought we'd paint it while we had the paint out while we're doing it. So this is gonna be a nice short and sweet episode. I'll cut it, cut it off here so I can get it out. Uh, I apologize that the Sylvia episode is going to be almost exactly the same, just as Sylvia, but the, the idea is that when people go back and watch the build series on each car, there is a episode of each car of this happening. So uh, my apologies for that. If you don't want to watch tomorrow's video of the Sylvia, don't watch it. It's just, it's going to be the same thing about the Sylvia, but yeah, super excited. So that's sick. Looking good. Everything's good. Everything's great in the world. Very excited. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out. See you. Bye.